I've worked at Facing Community, I was working night shift for a petrol station and I was quite frustrated. I, I had to like, I was quite ambitious, so I really wanted to go do, do something I just never really had the opportunity to do so, which rank, the RAP program has given me and it's certainly like developed my confidence and skills and I'm just feeling much more happier about myself and instead of only sleeping six days a week, I sleep seven, which is really nice as well. Then I was lazy, I wasn't really, I was motivated but I was only volunteering and I wasn't making my wage. Um, so I just finished sixth form um, and I'd applied to study social work at the university. I was after sixth form, but unfortunately I didn't get in. Um, it's very sad, so I was just like, what am I meant to do? Um, but I'd struggled before planning to get a job. Um, but I finally got like a job in a book, but it was just very dissatisfying and I was just like, this is not what I want to do. I know I was so keen and set on studying social work, so it was just like, I need to like get out of it. So before I, uh, before I was on the Rank Aspire program, I had uh, severe problems with anxiety and depression and very, very low self-esteem. I had a period of time in my life where I didn't leave the house for between six months and a year. Um, and I basically had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so before the uh, Rank Aspire program, um, I had already had lots of experiences and been on lots of trainings and um, had lots of opportunities but I was always lacking direction. There were so many things uh, you know, that I could have done or that I wanted to do. One day I was walking home from school and I was in sixth form and it was my second year and Rihanna and my boss called me and it was brilliant. It was intense and amazing out of nowhere. Just a friendly conversation about what I want to do about my life, which up to the age of 17 I hadn't had before. And it just brought out this inspiration that has been bubbled a bit, like hidden inside me. It just had been there all that time. Um, so it was only a few months of work and I when I got a phone call from when I used to work at Ruff as a volunteer. And I had been volunteering for a few months, but he told me about the the rap program and what it involved and I was just like, that's pay back to me. When us 12 rappers met last September, um, it we had a situation where we had to all speak um, about like our journey before we got to rap and it was, we all spoke about something pretty personal, um, which most of them were very touching and it was just amazing to know that we didn't know each other. We hadn't even known each other for 24 hours and we were so comfortable speaking to each other about this. And we were all really supportive of like, one another and that's when I knew that like, the people in that room were had a focus goal on going somewhere as well as me. Like I knew that I wasn't alone in feeling how I was feeling and that knowing that the support was there from all 11 of them was just amazing. So we went to a place called Glaramara uh, for a residential with uh, the Bank Foundation. Uh, we did an activity uh, called the Via Ferrata, which is essentially a big climbing frame on the side of a cliff. And so we had to scale that with harnesses and uh, clips to keep ourselves on. <laughs> so we were both good. Uh, it was also snowing, so it was uh, chilly. Before the rap program, um, I was really anxious, really unsure. I was still a happy person, but like completely dissatisfied with what I was doing in my job and just with life in general, um, but I, like, I was so anxious that even on the first residential I was sick and I just couldn't even do half the stuff that was planned, um, but now I'm like a comp like confident person, like I can go and stand in front of 400 children and do an assembly and tell them that God loves them and for me like that's like the most amazing thing and like I consider myself like a leader now, which never, like I would never have I think one of the things I'm going to pick out is seeing the difference in myself because I was less confident um, I didn't know where I was going but due to this program I've kind of I know where I'm going and I've got my goal and it's thanks to my organisation but I think it's also thanks to this program about bringing that out in me so thank you. And um, within getting 
everyone together, we create something and we get people talking. We get people talking about sailing, community-based issues, mental health, things that are impactful in their lives. Speaking to young people that have been through some of the same things that I mean, it, it does have an effect. It, but going through that is how people push forward. Time over the last nine months, I feel like I've learned so, so much and I applied for my first job since being on the uh, rank programme and I, I went and met the whole person spec and uh, I was looking at the job description and I was like, I can do this, that's really, really good and it's, it's a really nice feeling, like even all the desirables, I was like, I've, I've got this, so. Well, hopefully I am inspiring to be a primary teacher, um, but then after that, like, my plans are just huge. Like, I want to be involved, whether, whether I be at the school I'm at now or a different school, I want to, one, be a teacher, but two, be more involved with the families and the community around that area um, and just move higher, so have, like, um, more authority over what happens in the community and with the children and parents that attend the school that I work at. So my next steps are actually pretty exciting. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, the applications for the new uh, Rank Aspire programme interns are closing shortly and Breaking Barriers is hopefully going to be submitting one of our clients for the role. And the idea is that I am going to be managing that person starting in September. So Kai, if you're watching, make sure you hire her, please. Okay, if I was to do anything, like honestly, I would be doing the job that I'm in now. I absolutely love the young people that I'm working with and that is on, like that is where my heart lies. Just with the young people and the families and the children that we help. I'm getting really emotional. <laughs> but like they are like what I love and just being able to help them like makes me so happy. In 10 years time, I'd really like to pursue a childhood dream, which is to become a lawyer. And if enough people keep pushing me and pushing me, maybe one day I'll run for Prime Minister.